In this video, we'll be going over add binary. So given two binary strings, A and B, return their sum as a binary string. So in our first example, our A is 1 and 1, and B is equal to 1. So our, and then the sum of the bits is going to be 1, 0, 0. So let's first go over the dot process. We will need to add the bits from right to left. We can implement a two-pointer approach. So one pointer I will indicate our current location inside A and one pointer J will indicate our current location inside B. Then in each of the iteration we will be finding the sum of the bits located at these two pointers. We should note that when adding two bits, there may be a carry. There may be a carry over. So we will need to keep track of the, we will need to account. We need to account for the carry too. Let's go over all of the possible cases. So let's, let's indicate the current bits as B1 and B2 and, and our carry. So B1, B2, and carry. And now we're, we're going to try, try to find the sum of all the possible cases. So let's first write out all the possible cases for B1. And then all the possible cases for B2. Currently, I'm just writing out all of the combinations that's possible. Now all possible values of carry. Now, for now we'll find the sum of these. This one sum is three. We get two. Get two. One. Two. One. One and zero. So in this case we have a a bit is equal to one. In this case we have bits equal to one and carry is equal to one. This one we get bits is equal to zero, but carry is equal to one. In this case, same thing. In this case, bits is equal to one and carry is equal to zero. This one is bits equal to zero. Carry is equal to one. In this case, similar. And in this case, bit is equal to zero and carry is equal to zero. Okay, now we're ready to write the pseudocode. So create the following variables. I our current index inside A initially at the last index because we're processing from right to left. So our current index inside B initially at the last index too. And also our results. So it's going to be a string builder to keep track of our result. Oh, one more thing we need to notice is, so one more side case we need to fulfill is, one of the side cases is the two input strings may not be the same length. This means when we process the, the bits, one of the pointers may go out of bound. When a pointer is out of bound, we will 
default the value of the current bit, uh, default the value of the bits to equal to zero. This will be more clear when we go through the pseudocode. So while i or j is not out of bound, so greater than or equal to zero, then we'll retrieve b1 from a. So the current bits, retrieve the current bits b1 from index i inside a. Make sure to convert it to a uh, integer value. If i is out of bound, we will default b1 to 0. Now we're going to do the same thing to retrieve the bits from b. So it's going to be b2 from index j. If j is out of bound, default b2 to 0. With decrements, j here, and then with decrement i here. Now we're going to find the sum, find the current sum. Oh, one more thing we need to do, we need to keep track of the carry. The current carry. So find the sum here. Calculate the sum. So sum is equal to first bit plus second bit plus the current carry. If sum is equal to three or is equal to three or two, then the carry will be set to one because in this case we can see if it's if the sum is zero three or two our carry is always set to one. Else sets carry to zero. Then if sum is equal to one or three, append one to our result. Because when we have one, when our sum is equal to three or one, our bits is our bits is going to be equal to one. So we append one to our result. Else we're going to append zero. Else append zero to result. Now, if after we process all of the bits, if carry is, is greater than zero, we will need to append another one to results. Now we're going to reverse results and then, and then return a string representation of results. We need to reverse result because we were processing the bits from right to left, but we are appending bits to our resulting to appending bits to our result string builder. So we need to reverse it after and to return a string representation of result. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So our time complexity is equal to all of n, where n is the length of the larger string or longer string. So I'm gonna process all of the bits. And then space complexity is also going to, going to be O of n. That's going to be for our string builder. String builder. Or we can say it's O of 2 times n, which would be similar because string builder and resulting string. Because we're going to convert the result to a string representation after. So we're going to do 2 times n instead of just of n. Okay, let's go over the code. So let's first create our variables. So our current pointer inside A initially from the end, and J is, is um, our current pointer inside B, also at the end. Our current carry is going to be zero. We're going to create our string builder. And then while both of the pointers are not out of bound, or either one of them is not out of bound, Retrieve the first bit b1 from a. So if if i is greater than or equal to zero, then we convert the current bits to a uh, to convert the current character to an integer. So get numeric value. Char i and then we 
decrement i after else we're going to default it to zero if i is out of bounds so send some more process here and retrieve b2 from our second string that index j and then we decrement j2 now we're going to find a sum it's going to be one plus b2 plus carry and then set carry to if if sum is greater is equal to if sum is equal to three or sum is equal to two we set carry to one else we set carry to zero and then we are uh, append if sum is equal to one or sum is equal to three then we're going to append one to our results else we append zero and then if carry is still greater than zero after we process all of the bits we're going to append one to our results and then return result dot reverse so we'll reverse the result and then to string Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.